Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where a, uh, well, ignorant frauditor decides to interfere in a traffic stop, and, well, he ends up getting his sorry ass arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, he's the one that identified himself over here for the record, the one on the passenger. Right here, shine the light. Look at the passenger side. This is the one that didn't want to identify himself earlier. Oh, poor little frauditor. Did you get uh, your feelings hurt because the mean old police officer didn't want to identify himself to you, even though there's nothing really saying that he has to do that? And you damn well know that to begin with, don't you? Oh, wait, no, you don't. Because, you know, JC News now thought the same thing, but he was educated by, well, somebody else who knew better. So, yeah, most of you frauditors are completely ignorant of what the laws actually are, and you pretend that you think you know. So, yeah, there's that. And this one over here on the driver's side, that youngster is the one that was talking to the guy on the sidewalk over there, telling him to leave. <laughs> I don't know, they just pulled this vehicle over just now. Are you guys all right? What are they accusing you of? Speeding? <coughs> oh, you don't answer any of their questions. Don't answer any questions. Don't have to sign a ticket. And and don't don't do any tests. You know, sobriety tests, none of them. You don't have to do any sobriety tests. But you're right. And you might go to jail, and they might take your driver's license, but tomorrow morning, you go to the DMV, and you go get another driver's license, okay? Because it's not going to be suspended if they take it. But you will go to jail, and they'll take it for tonight, you know what I mean? You're not going to jail, but... Yeah. He's just giving you advice. Uh, yeah, I would not follow this bonehead's advice whatsoever. While he may be partially accurate in that you don't have to take field sobriety tests, if you refuse, that leaves you open to the officer asking you to do the breathalyzer test, which in New Mexico is not exactly, well, optional. So you have to do it in New Mexico, the breathalyzer at any rate. So yeah, don't take this guy's advice because you don't want to go through all this process. And uh, so just ignore this moron. That's personal from personal experience, from my own personal experience. That's the one right there. This one out here yeah. standing up? That's him. He said he didn't have to give his name. Oh, he doesn't have to give his name, huh? Nope. You know what? We'll just get his facial recognition right here. 
Hey, um, as you guys want to get charged blast. with uh, interfering with a traffic stop, I would scoot back. I I'm not interfering. Absolutely. I'm not interfering. Yes, you are. I'm not interfering, yeah. buddy. Oh, uh, yes, you are, you freaking moron. You're standing over there talking to the uh, driver, telling him how to conduct himself at this traffic stop. So, in other words, giving him legal advice when you are clearly not a uh, bar-certified lawyer, you dumbass. So, yeah, you are certainly interfering in this traffic stop. And, yeah, so forget about that myth about uh, interference always being a physical act because it's not always a physical act, you dipshit. Do you want to do it? We can do, do you it. Know, do, do, do you know if he knows that I'm his personal counsel, huh? For his, here for his safety, your safety. Okay. You know, I get this whole thing about being there for their safety and everything like that. Be a cop watcher all you want, but the moment you start interfering and acting like a complete jackass like this, uh, yeah, that's when you cross the line, and that's when you should be arrested right there, because that's when you become a total nuisance. You trying to tell us what to do. Like I said, you guys want to be detained, possibly arrested for interfering with a traffic stop? I would suggest staying We're just filming. Whatever, whatever. Okay. Just pay attention to your okay. job over here. You okay. are actually doing You're interfering right now because I'm, I'm not engaged with you. If you don't have the attention span to fucking pay attention to your own okay. shit, that's your problem. You have attention deficit disorder. And your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, not only have we got a certified YouTube lawyer on our hands, but we have a YouTube board certified medical doctor who can also diagnose uh, every disease known to man. Way to go, dude. Where? How long did it take you to get that? I mean, how much research did you have to uh, daily life to do that? How long? What? Five minutes of reading a uh, a coloring book that you found in a doctor's office to get that degree of yours? I mean, inquiring minds want to know. Okay, and if I do, is that a problem? What, I mean, that is, why that is a problem if you're on this job. You have to be able to focus on your own job. Okay. And you guys are taking my On dish, the situation. Right? No, we're not. You are. Absolutely, you are. Pay attention. Okay. Sir, I need you to turn around. Right now you're detained for interfering with traffic stop? Okay. Put your other hand behind your back. That's your property. Hey, let go of give, him, give him my property. Have it. Give him my property. Turn, put your hand behind Give him my property. You, you don't have warrants? a right to seize my property. You, have any warrants? you don't have a right to seize my property. You're making a big mistake, buddy. You didn't do nothing wrong. Any weapons on you? Can you get your supervisor here? Yeah. I want to speak to your... Uh, yeah. Calling the supervisor like that would really help out the situation in this particular scenario. So, yeah. He doesn't get a supervisor in the end. And he ends up being hauled off. But that's okay because Bubba and the boys have kept a cot uh, warmed up for him. So, yeah. Enjoy your little uh, time with... Bubba, I'm sure he'll be more than welcoming to you. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?